morning guys Dave Canterbury from the Pathfinder school back out here in the woods with the Pathfinder Scout Hawk did a little review on this yesterday and did a little throwing with it talked about it a little bit I wanted to give you some updates and also shoot a video on how to throw a tomahawk today had a couple requests on that yesterday so I thought I'd shoot that up for you guys today before I take off again to do some more filming for dual survival um, I'll be gone about three weeks this time and then I'll be back putting videos on YouTube once again but for now let's talk about this hawk um, I sent out a bulletin last night on YouTube as well as posting it on my Facebook that we would sell 25 of these hawks today we actually sold all 25 of those hawks by 940 this morning and they were up at 6 o'clock I apologize if you missed the opportunity to get in on the first 25 we will have these in full production within the next 30 days and we'll have a continuous run of them at that point for you to purchase the purchase price of this hawk is $100 it comes with the loop that we showed yesterday for your belt as well as the head cover the handle and the axe now the axe can be taken out of the handle to be used for other tools and I'm sure that you've seen videos on that in the past on YouTube and we may do a video on that at a later date but what I wanted to do today was I wanted to give you guys a little update on where we're at with the hawk as well as show you how I throw hawks so stay with me guys okay real quick guys let's talk about sharpening your hawk before I talk real quick about throwing a hawk what I generally use for my hawks as well as my axes and my knives is just a Lansky's diamond rod and it comes in a brass tube that slides out of and has a lock ring on it that you tighten down and it has a diamond rod in it with a groove in it for sharpening fish hooks which makes it convenient as well I've had this one for probably a year and I haven't worn out yet it still sharpens really really well now what I do is a little unorthodox the way I sharpen but most people will tell you that you don't sharpen toward the blade okay and for general safety purposes that's a good idea but because of the way this Lansky is built you can actually sharpen toward the blade and if you go too far it will hit the blade with that sleeve and not your finger all right the advantage of sharpening toward the blade is it's very much like sharpening it on a stone you're actually turning the bevel underneath instead of beveling it over the top okay so what I generally do is I'll just take that diamond rod and I'll find my angle and you'll feel that when the diamond bites into the raw steel and I'll just sharpen it in short circular motions and I keep it up close to me so I can see it and I'll take you know five or ten seconds on one side and you can hear it after a while you'll be able to hear it and you'll know whether you got the right angle or not then I just turn the hawk over or the axe whichever the case may be and I'll do the same thing and I can feel it and when you slip up and get the angle wrong you'll know it immediately because you'll feel it lose its bite and it'll start to slide and at that point you'll know you've got the wrong angle you can feel it bite into the steel when you've got the right angle and I'll do that on both sides and that's just a general dressing of your edge and if you do that every once in a while and you don't wait until your axe or your knife or anything else is completely dulled up you won't have to spend much time sharpening it in the field but that Lansky's diamond rod makes it really convenient to sharpen things and I've just got a lanyard on here attached to it to hang on to or whatever and I keep that in my pack it's very lightweight a lot lighter than a stone would be or anything like that and it works out real well for me so now that we've got our axe nice and sharp let's talk about the mechanics of throwing a tomahawk the general rule for throwing a tomahawk is that five normal paces will be one revolution of the tomahawk okay in other words if you start it from this position and throw it one revolution brings it back to the starting position which means it should stick in the object that you're throwing it at for me that's a little bit off it's not quite five it's more like four and a half so when you start to throw a hawk or anything like that what you do is you pick what you're going to throw into whether that's a hawk block or just a tree or whatever you feel comfortable with and i'm using a tree over here uh, it looks like it's pretty dead it's probably an oak or a hickory it's a pretty hardwood tree uh, from the bark i'd say it's an oak and what i'll do is just walk up to that tree and i gotta pace it off a little bit away from the tree because there's a bunch of brambles right here but i'll just count myself out you know one two three four paces and you'll get to the point where over time 
let me move this camera just a little bit so you can see me better you'll get to the point where over time you will know what that four or five paces is without pacing it off obviously you're not going to walk up to something you're throwing this hawk at that was alive and say okay wait a minute stand right there let me walk my four paces you're going to have to get used to what that distance is over time and that's very similar and indicative what i do is just walk through the woods and throw my hawk and you can do the same thing when you're shooting a bow it's called stump shooting you just walk through the woods you pick a target and you shoot an arrow at it whether that's a stump a can a log whatever the case may be you can do the same thing with a tomahawk a rabbit stick it doesn't matter what it is that's how you practice at varying angles and varying distances and once you get used to what that distance is then you know how far away you can be before you're within your kill range okay so once you've paced this off and you've got a mark and i like to just draw a line you know in the snow or in the grass or whatever and then i know that's where my lead foot is going to land when I go to throw my hawk. And then I'll step back from that enough that I can step forward into my throw. And you don't have to throw real hard at first. All you're trying to do is stick the hawk. You're not trying to throw with a lot of momentum. You're just trying to practice at making the hawk stick. Once you get to that point where you've got that hawk sticking, you want to pay attention to how that hawk is sticking in the object, okay? What I mean by that is, let me pull this out of the tree. What I mean by that is, if your hawk is sticking this way at an angle, then you know it rotated almost too much. If it's sticking this way, then you know it didn't rotate enough. If it's sticking this way, then you know it rotated to where it hit solid in the object. I like mine to have a little bit of tilt. Tomahawk throwing, guys, is about practice, it's about judging distance, and it's about breaking handles. Trust me on that one, I can tell you. You order one of these, you plan to throw it, you better order an extra handle. Just the way it's going to be, you're going to break these things. They're made out of solid hickory, but if you're throwing, especially in cold weather, you're going to snap one before it's over with. So be prepared for that. Don't let it break your heart. Get a second handle.